just when they seem to get ahead financially, something happens to set them back. Welcome to today's DDRX. In the coming days, we want to look at symptoms and signs of causes. How to know if one is under a cause. Proper diagnosis is essential for true remedy. So to recognize a cause, you must know the picture it creates. The cause of man creates the unmistakable unmistakable picture of toil and sweat that yields little fruit. The cause of woman creates the picture of sorrow, disappointment and struggles with husband and children. So the first one we want to look at today is chronic financial problems. History of debt, bankruptcy, poverty, lack, inability to keep jobs, experiences, layoffs, inability to find work without any logical explanation for it, no unexpected bills, accident causing additional bills, loss of money, car breakdowns, mechanical malfunction. Just when they seem to get ahead financially, something happens to set them back. Or maybe the person is mishandling money, business failures, Proverbs 10, 15 says the rich man's wealth is a strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. So the spirit of destruction walks through this cause to destroy a person financially. Spirit of poverty, lack and debt operate through this cause. Financial setbacks, housing foreclosures, repairs, work, maybe job layoffs, abuse from bosses, harassment, accident on the job. And the, the reason is that, you know, with cause, people just experience frustration, discouragement, sadness, sorrow, depression, despair, despondency, anger and bitterness. So in Agai 1 verse 6, God said, you have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, hand wages, to put into a bag with holes. You can see that's a cause. And this is a sign, chronic financial problem may be as a result of a cause. Let's say blessing together in Malachi 3, 11 to 12. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, so that it will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Claim these blessings in Jesus' name.